paying tribute to a special solemn day in the town of West. It was exactly one year ago today that a fertilizer plant exploded there, taking more than a dozen lives, wiping out entire neighborhoods nearby. It has been a long, sad year of rebuilding there in West, where KXA's David Scott is standing by with more on a memorial service to begin shortly, remembering the tragedy. 2,813 people live in the small town of West. When you talk to some of them, they say they can't believe it's been a year since the explosion. Others say it seems a lot longer ago than that. Well, it was exactly one year ago today, and there will be a memorial observance here in a couple hours to mark that occasion. What a devastating night it was in 2013, April 17th. A major blast after dusk. Some 200 homes destroyed or damaged, 15 lives lost, and 12 of those were first responders bravely trying to save others. But now looking back on all of this and trying to recover, the mayor of West says this town will come back stronger than ever. We will be okay. Uh, it will take a long time. I, I said it at first, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And, 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 and that's going to take a while, but I think, as anybody knows, these people are, are very strong-willed, faith-based people, and, and so they're going to be okay. The memories of what happened here a year ago still very vivid for everyone. Tonight is at, at this observance, undoubtedly, there'll be a little bit of laughter and a lot of tears and vows that everyone will continue to pull together as they have these past 12 months. And the most stirring moment undoubtedly will come about two and a half hours from now when they pause at exactly 7.51 p.m. for a moment of silence. That's the moment when the explosion occurred. In West, David Scott, KXAN News. A song written by a woman from West is stirring strong emotions on the anniversary of the tragedy. Jennifer Janik wrote that song two days after the disaster, and Donna Beckman sang it on live television this morning. A performance moved West Mayor Tommy Muska to tears. Also today, we are seeing a new view of the West explosion. Take a look. Oh, sh <laughs> Jeff Tabola recorded that video on his cell phone one year ago tonight. He was on his way from work that afternoon and saw the fire. He only released the video to the media this week. He was not injured in the blast. The recovery effort still ongoing in West this week. The state declared more disaster and relief efforts there. The state of Texas has now given about $8 million in recovery aid. The Federal Emergency Management Agency earlier this year gave $20 million to help rebuild two schools destroyed in the blast. You can find more information about the blast and the recovery online right now at KXAN.com. We also have links to a special section on West. It's there at our front page.